Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a bison. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the front part of the body. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a cup, a lid, or anything else with a circular edge. To the left, draw a smaller circle as a guide for the back portion of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. First make 4 small marks to indicate the sides of the circle, and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. This circle should be about one-third the size of the first circle. To the right, draw another small circle as a guide for the head. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle as well. The left edge of this circle should be blocked by the big circle in the middle. The head circle should be roughly the same size as the circle for the back portion of the body. Draw a vertical line inside the head. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. Now draw a horizontal line for another construction guide. On the lower right side of the head, draw an angled line as a guide for the muzzle. Use two sloping lines for the top and bottom part of the muzzle, and a flat line for the front. The shape of the muzzle should be similar to a trapezoid. Under the big circle, draw two angled vertical lines as guides for the front legs. Bend the middle sections of the lines to indicate where the joints will be. Pay attention to the length of these lines in relation to the body. Under the circle on the left, draw two longer angled lines as guides for the hind legs. Bend the lines in the middle to indicate where the joints will be. These lines should be a lot longer than the lines for the front legs. Draw a curved line from the top of the head to the body as a guide for the hump. At the bottom, draw another curved line that connects the head to the body to finish the guide for the neck. Connect the body circles using two more lines to finish the guide for the torso. The line at the top should be sloping and the line at the bottom should be curved. On the top left side of the body, draw a short line that curves downward as a guide for the tail. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch a small circle for the eye. Place the eye on the bottom right side of where the construction guides intersect. When you get the size and position of the eye right, darken the shape. Make the sides of the eye wider and pointier as you darken the shape. Inside the eye, off to the side, draw a tiny circle for a highlight. Now shade in the eye. Don't overlap the tiny highlight circle as you shade. Use a slightly darker value in the middle of the eye to create the pupil. Draw a couple of short curved lines above the eye for the eyelid and wrinkles. Add a couple of short curved lines under the eye too. Inside the muzzle near the top right side, draw a small curved shape for the nostril. The shape of the nostril should be similar to a drop of water. On top of the muzzle, draw a series of short strokes for the top part of the nose. Darken the right side of the guide to create the front part of the nose. 
Under the nostril, angle the line to the left to create the mouth. Draw a curved line from the nostril to the mouth for the inner edge of the nose. Add a shorter line on the front part of the nose. To the left of the nose and mouth, draw a longer curved line for the fur. Break up the line to emphasize the furry texture. Add more short strokes above the nose for the furry top part of the muzzle. Don't extend the top part of the muzzle into the circle for the head. Draw a curved line under the mouth for the bottom part of the muzzle. Follow the path of the guide as you draw this line. On the top left side of the head, lightly sketch a curved shape for the horn. Place the horn on top of the horizontal construction line and to the left of the vertical line. Draw the shape of the horn going left and then curve it upward. When you get the shape of the horn right, darken the lines. Draw a series of short strokes along the bottom for the furry base of the horn. Under the horn, draw a curved line for the ear. The shape of the ear should be similar to the letter C. Draw more short strokes within the shape for the furry ear opening. Use the initial circle as a guide to draw the rest of the head. Follow the curvature of the circle as you draw the top part of the head. Draw the top part of the head slightly farther away from the circle to create a bigger shape. Use short strokes as you draw the top part of the head for a furry texture. Use a curved vertical line along the guidelines on the right to create the front part of the head. Draw more short strokes to the left of the horn and ear for the back portion of the head. Use the guides at the bottom as a guide to draw the lower edge of the head. Draw the bottom part of the head farther down below the guidelines for a bigger shape. Under the mouth, draw a long curved shape for the beard-like section of the fur. On the left side, curve the line back upward to emphasize the beard. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shape right. Draw more short strokes inside the shape of the head to emphasize the furry texture. Add curved lines around the eye that are made up of short strokes for the separation of the fur. Draw short strokes for the top part of the head and above the muzzle. Now use the second angled line from the right as a guide to draw the first front leg. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Make the top part of the leg wide for the fur. Extend the top left side of the leg inside the body. Around the bottom part of the guide, draw a small square-like shape for the hoof. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. Use short strokes as you darken the top part of the leg for a furry texture. On the left side of the foot, draw a small round shape for the part of the hoof called the dewclaw. The sides of the hoof should be wide and the bottom part flat. Draw a couple of lines along the bottom part of the foot to split the hoof. Now use the angled line on the right as a guide to draw the other front leg the same way. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Make the top part of the leg wide and the bottom narrow. Draw a square-like shape at the bottom for the hoof. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shape right. Don't draw the top part of this leg because the underside of the body will be overlapping it. Draw a couple of lines along the bottom part of the foot to split the hoof. 
Use the long angled line on the far left side as a guide to draw the first hind leg. Just like with the front legs, first lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Make the top part of the leg wide and gradually make the bottom more narrow. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. Curve the middle section of the shape to indicate the joint on the leg. Draw the small dew claw on the left side of the foot. Keep the edges on the lower section of the leg close to the guideline so that the leg is thin. At the bottom, use a square-like shape for the hoof. Draw a couple of short lines near the bottom of the foot for the cloven hoof. Add a couple of small curved lines in the middle of the shape to emphasize the joint. Use the angled line on the right as a guide to draw the other hind leg the same way. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shape right. Keep the bottom edges of the leg close to the guideline so that the shape is thin. A big part of this leg will be hidden behind the first hind leg. Add a square-like shape at the bottom for the hoof and split the shape. Use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. Use a series of short strokes as you darken the top edge of the body for the furry coat. Draw a series of short strokes across the body to indicate the edge of the furry coat. Draw the edge of the coat along the section where the two body circles meet. The edge of the coat should connect to the top part of the front leg. Draw short strokes that connect the front leg to the head for the furry chest. Draw the shape of the chest lower than the initial guidelines. Darken the bottom part of the guides for the underside of the body. Darken the left edge of the circle for the top part of the leg. Now use the small line on the left side as a guide to draw the tail. Darken the line and draw short strokes at the bottom for the hair on the tip of the tail. Add another curved line at the top to make the shape of the tail thicker. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video won't be too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Shade lightly at first and gradually build up to a darker value. For a light value, push down very lightly on your pencil, then push down harder for darker values. Use a value that's a little bit lighter for the coat that's on the front part of the body. The value on the head should be slightly darker. Now use a darker value throughout the body to create some shadows. Shadows will give the body more volume and help the figure look more three-dimensional. As you shade, use strokes that go in the direction of the fur. Add a light value to the horn for a shadow and a light value for the hooves. Draw a shadow at the bottom using a medium value. This grounds the bison so that it doesn't appear to be floating. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the bison. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also, subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.